Hey Facebook, I'm uh, Chief Meteorologist Eric Snydel. This is a little different look and feel, isn't it? Uh, you are at uh, Casa Snydel here this afternoon. We're working from our, I don't know what you want to even call this, I mean, pretend home studios. And because it is our pretend home studios, we have guests this afternoon. You want to say hi? Hi. Uh, Katie's here. And we got this guy. I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> He's, he is not having it today. He is not in the mood for this bolt. You awake? Bull. You want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hi? You want to do the thing? Okay. All right, so we got this video that every time we play it, Bolt sings. Hold on. Okay, he's going to let it I go. I turn it up. Oh, can you sing? <laughs> can you sing? <laughs> yep, yep. We do this all night long, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good boy. So that's pretty much what our day has been here so far. Um, so this is what we've got. This is our, our house. Um, what we're doing over these course of the next couple of days and probably a couple of weeks is we're trying to find ways to be able to broadcast from home. And, uh, you know, I'll show you the, the setup. All I've got is I got a laptop here. On the other side, we've got a stand and a TV, and uh, you know we can control our graphics from the laptop as long as we don't have a dog that's on the couch, you know, howling and doing husky things. Which there you go, he's doing it again. And uh, over these next few days, we're going to end up, I think, uh, broadcasting some of our coverage from home. One of the things that we have been doing, and uh, we'll we'll slide Katie on on this here too. Hi. So. We've been doing these experiments over the last couple of days, and uh, we've got a couple more of these coming, but you've yeah. been the brains of a lot of these. We've talked about hail and thunderstorms, and we've got a few more coming down the pike, too. Right, there's been, uh, we're just coming up with ideas, so if you have any ideas, please send them our way, because we are, we're probably eventually going to run out of ideas. What's your deal? What do you want? He doesn't like want when he's on the phone. <laughs> See, this is where it's going to be fun, doing the actual broadcasting from home with him. Decide, uh-oh, he heard treat. You go get a treat, Bolt? Oh, what's Mommy getting? She go get you a treat? Let's see. What kind of treat is it? Keep them occupied for a while. Oh, that looks good. All right. <laughs> it's been fun. See you later. All right, you're going to hang out down there? <laughs> yeah, he's having a good day here so far. Uh, all right, so we got a fun one here, Katie, that um, we really didn't have to build anything with this one. But uh, last week we talked about, is there, where can I set this phone up where we're both yeah. in? Can I do this? Is this easier? Oh. And then you yeah. come back here oh, too? Okay. You want to try that? Here? I didn't think of this ahead of time. Maybe if I close the laptop here, it can make life a little bit easier. So one of the things that we talked about last week was thunderstorms. Right. And what we were doing with thunderstorms, we, we had hail, we made a little pretend tornado in there. But uh, the premise here of warm air rising, and that ends up getting you clouds and rain and thunderstorms. It's actually raining outside our window here right now in Rochester. But um, my parents gave us, when was this for? Was this the for Christmas? Christmas? It was a Christmas gift. All right, so I want you guys to see this. Complete with snowman and yeah, it's, Christmas um, tree. What do you call this even? A rotary candle. A rotary candle. All right, so we're going to set this up. You guys ever seen this before? So a rotary candle. We've got four separate candles here, and Katie's going to grab the lighter. And then we got this little twisty top. Now, we're going to have Katie light, just do, do two of them, I think, would be enough here. She's going to light two of these candles. Let's see what happens. One. And this one? Yeah. Two. Look at what's going on now. So she didn't do that. Now here, I'll stop it even. We'll stop it and watch what'll happen. It's gonna start to spin slowly but surely. Light one more, Katie. Okay. Let's see if we can get that going a little bit better. There we go. Now you note the, uh, the top here is now spinning. What's going on here? So this is a really cool example of the atmosphere at work. When Katie, here you wanna, go ahead, I'm gonna do one more. Katie, lighting these candles, here's what's happening. This is now producing heat. It's producing a lot of hot air, obviously. It's fire. That warm, hot air is rising because it is less dense. It wants to go up. 
So we have now developed four currents, and you can almost see them. I, this is just glare from the camera, but you can almost pretend like that's a current of heat. That's a ribbon of hot rising air. That air, as it rises, is hitting against the face of this, the facade of this fan, which is causing it to turn. That's connected to our tree, our strange guy with a weird hat, and our snowman who is spinning along with it. Now, this is not that dissimilar to how a hurricane kind of forms. And I, it's a little bit of a reach to get there, but uh, humor me with this. So a hurricane is forming because we've got all of this warm, soupy ocean water. And that water is putting all this water vapor into the air right over that ocean surface, and that air gets ingested into these storms. And much like this, if you can get these currents of air that are rising, you end up almost creating your own engine. And that's what we've got here. This is kind of like what a tropical storm or a hurricane is going to do. It is taking the heat source. In this case, it's a candle. But in a hurricane, it's going to end up being that uh, warm ocean water that's making that air nice and warm and sticky and soupy. And it ends up funneling going up into the sky. And you've got some twist and some spin in there too. But we have basically made our own hurricane. Now, what do you think is gonna happen here if we start blowing these candles out? All right, so we're gonna lose our heat source and you're already starting to notice our fan is slowing down, slow, slow, slow. Eventually, this is going to come to a complete stop. When we lose our heat source, so when a hurricane moves out over land or it moves out uh, over some cooler waters. We're kind of blowing out the candles, if you will. We're losing our heat energy. You got no more air that is rising to get our engine going, to keep our turbines spinning and rotating. And that is the death of a tropical system. That's the death of a hurricane. So we did it with candles versus uh, the warm ocean water. But uh, I don't know, I just thought this was kind of cool. We asked, uh, we actually requested this for Christmas. Yeah. I had said, you know, we go do a lot of school visits. Um, I think my mom found this at, at TJ yeah, Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. <laughs> TJ Maxx, she picked this up. It was like 20 bucks. Um, but uh, we looked at it, and she had one in the house. And I said, you know what? I think I need to do this for school visits. Little did I know that we would be doing this for coronavirus uh, yeah. weather workshop visits at the, the time. it's the first time a snowman has been in a hurricane, though. It's probably true. Yeah. What's this guy doing? Is he done? Yeah, he's already done. That whole treat is now gone. Sorry, buddy. That's the only one you're getting today. Yeah. <laughs> Story of his life. Constantly looking for food and, sleep. and then sleeping. So what are the, we got one more that you and I were tinkering with. Um, we're trying to do the cloud in a bottle. Yes. So this is, it's a tough thing to pull off and we. Well, right <laughs> now for specific reasons, because you can't find rubbing yeah, All right, so here's what we're trying to do here. Um, uh, we're gonna take a two liter bottle and we can essentially create a cloud in it. Uh, and there's a couple of household items that most of you would be able to do to pull this off. And that's what we want to do. We want you to be able to make these at home too. Um, but one of the ingredients is you need rubbing alcohol to do this. You know how hard that is to find right now? So we went to the stores yesterday looking for rubbing alcohol and it's obviously all sold out. So we took this a step further okay. and uh, we ended up buying... Um, we went to a local liquor store, of all things, <laughs> and we got the strongest alcohol content. Uh, I don't even know what the heck we bought, but it's like 75. Well, yeah, we asked for help of the guy who owns yes. the place. We, so we need really something nice. that has at least 70% alcohol we content. We didn't know what we were looking for. To kind of serve for our, our rubbing alcohol. But, um, you know, we're going to be, that. I think be the next one we do is we're kind of going to make this cloud in a bottle. All you need is a two liter bottle. You need some rubbing alcohol, which hopefully you have at home already. You don't have to go out and try to find it because you're not going to have a whole lot of luck doing that. And a bicycle pump. That's the weird one out of this yeah. is the bicycle pump. We're hoping things don't explode. We'll <laughs> if see. They We're going to try it for if you. If they though. do, it's going to be on a Facebook Live and it will yeah. at least be entertaining Talk with this. But um, All right. So we got a lot of folks who are on this. Catherine says hello. Uh, Lee is joining us from Luverne. Sean says he just got off the live stream with Josh. They got some severe weather. Oh going yeah, Josh on today. Johnson just went live. Uh, yep, in Alabama, they're dealing with some of what we saw yesterday. Can you believe that we had some strong to severe storms here uh, in western New York around Rochester? That we was did. the first one of the season for us. Though. Got to watch it move in over the lake. Yeah, some scary looking clouds yeah. coming on through, but uh, thankfully that is all done.
just like Bolt here, who appears to be all done. So I think what we're going to do here, uh, if you've been following our weather workshops last week, we've been doing a lot of these at uh, 3.08 Eastern time. It's a little too late. I think it's too late. I mean, if you're homeschooling, you know? we're not homeschooling, but if you were right. homeschooling by 3.08 p.m., you're done. I think you're so. Finished. <laughs> so I think what we want to do out of this is we want this to be maybe 108 Eastern, which would be 1208 uh, Central Time. What do y'all think, though? What yeah, think? I mean, th this is all for you guys. Um, if you've got uh, the kids who are watching this and they're trying to pick up on some science lessons here, and that's what really the goal out of this is going to be. I feel awful that I'm sitting and you're standing, by the way. You want to switch? No, it's okay. You sure? Yes, yes. What are you doing with that lighter? I'm contemplating Making setting your hair on fire. slightly nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see I cut my hair? No. Yeah. Please don't do that. Yeah, it's a surprise. All right. we got, we got no barber shops that are open, so... <laughs> it took some scissors and just went, did a little snipping. Yeah, you didn't say anything, so I thought it must have been okay. I, I guess I hadn't looked. We'll see what they say when I get into work. Is anybody doing in-home haircutting by any chance? Yeah, because we're, <laughs> we're going to probably need some help with that. It's either let it grow out or just... Bzzz. No. All of it not is happening. gone. Not happening. What do you think, doggy? Bolt's got enough yeah, hair he's for ready for a nap. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I think uh, 108... Eastern time, 1208 Central time. Because there are folks watching from Central time. Hey, Mom. Oh, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one of these we're going to do is on Wednesday. We, we have to test the, I don't know chemically if um, the what alcohol that we purchased is going to have the same reaction as rubbing alcohol. All we're doing is trying not to set the house on fire. <clears throat> yeah, that's essentially all we're doing here. <laughs> um, but we have to do some testing on our own, some experimenting to be able to make sure that it works. And yeah, that was interesting. Walking into the, the liquor store yesterday, and we're, we're looking for the strongest alcohol that you've got. And then <laughs> and trying to convince them, like, no, 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 we're, we're not drinking it. We, we, we want nothing to do with it. We're doing a science experiment and we need something with the highest alcohol content that you get. But even he had said, he had said they had sold out. Uh, obviously for different reasons of of the alcohol, some of the stronger stuff. And what we got is stronger yeah. than rubbing alcohol. But but some people the are content. they're out buying this thinking, you know, they're, they're making hand use sanitizer. This as hand sanitizer, yeah. which uh is pretty wild that uh, that is the mode that we are in with this. But that'll be the next one that we do on Wednesday. <laughs> hmm. There's some fun comments here. Uh -oh. I'm trying to filter through some of these. Uh -oh. We got a lot of Alabama folks. Hi, does Alabama. Ben... We miss you. Den is asking, does Bolt have his mask on? Well, he's covered in hair. Does that kind of count as a mask? I think that you're actually supposed to shave beards right now. So... You are supposed. Ooh. <laughs> he, he's not. He's got a he's got an Andrew Luck neck beard going on. You had. To... I had. had to she was a, she's a big Colts it. fan, but not as big of an Andrew Luck fan anymore, right? Mm. Yeah. He left us. He did. Yeah, Julie says Everclear. We we did ask about that, Julie. They're out of They're everywhere. Out. everywhere. Yeah, that was... Oh, what is your deal? You want to say hi? Is this what you want? You just want TV time? No, you want the treat. Sorry, I'm giving in. Go ahead. Get your treat. Yum, 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 yum. Thank you. There you go. All day long. And no, he does not get treats every 10 minutes, by well, the no, way. this is a kind of a special... He does because we're on a Facebook Live. Stephen, uh, Katie is asking, uh, are you enjoying Rochester? We love Rochester so far. Everybody's been super nice. Um, the weather is different, but apparently this is a mild winter. But, but so far, so good. Yeah, you guys want to hear something crazy. Rochester is still the snowiest city in the country, but we are now running more than half a foot less than normal than what we should have. So we should have more. So it is, I think the mild winter really was a good welcome to get used to it. Just easing in with yeah, to some extent. Yeah. We've had uh, just shy of 90 inches, 9-0, and that is below normal. We average about 100 a inches a it's year. It's still a lot of snow. <laughs> David says uh, <laughs> he can send you some Koneka sausage. Oh, I just <laughs> ate Koneka sausage yesterday. <laughs> Do you still have any left? Is it all gone? I, I ate it all. Yeah. <laughs> You had a bunch from earlier. Yeah, I've got some in the freezer. So Listen, you're not getting treats every time you bark. That's not how this works. Actually, it is kind of yeah, how this it, works, but he, no, he I say that like I'm right tough. <laughs> well, we got a lot of Alabama folks who are saying oh, hi here. Yay. 
Well, we have to give this caveat too uh, to some of you who are mentioning you were watching uh, Josh Johnson's Facebook Live. Make sure you're paying attention today. Low end severe weather threat for Alabama, but uh, it's not a zero severe weather threat. So you know where to turn if you're going to be looking for that kind of stuff. You know the uh, they got four now over there again, not just three. Yeah, uh, they do. They Tyler, introduced a new meteorologist yep. this morning yep. in the morning. Very spot. talented. Yeah, I'm excited to see him start. Tyler there. Sam. Yeah, he's going to do a great job. So uh, we're looking forward to watching some of that from abroad here. Yeah. And I know a lot of you are going to be looking forward to uh, seeing that too. Debbie says uh, they're watching from Fitzpatrick. They just covered weather in their homeschool science class. So very cool. All right. Did they do any experiments? Do you have any experiments? that uh, Any ideas, Debbie, that uh, we could maybe cover for you? <laughs> yeah. Tammy's got Bolt figured out already about she the said. treat situation. Oh, yeah. He's working it. Helen, uh, Bolt is a Siberian Husky. Um, at least, as far as we know, he's a pure Siberian Husky. Wait, I guess yeah, there's really no really way know. of knowing for sure. He acts like it. He certainly looks like it. Uh, hey, buddy. Everybody says hi to you. Yeah. Here comes the barking again. You want to say hi? Look at bud. You want to say hi? Am I doing this the wrong, wrong way? way? Yeah. Oh, no, that's Flash. There you go. Hey, Bolt. Want to say hi? Can you sing? Bolt, Bolt, can you sing? Can you sing? You want to sing? Took away can you video. sing? Oh. Bolt, can you sing? He looks like he's oh. getting for it. <laughs> yeah. That was a little weird, but. Bolt, can you sing? <laughs> well, that was a good one. That was a really good one. All right, so uh, we're going to cut this out here. i got to head into work. What time is it? We're not. I don't even know what time it is. Uh, what one, are we at? 120. 120. Yeah, i got to go to work. we got a 4 o'clock newscast here. So this has been fun. We're going to do this again with Bolt and with Katie, too. Uh, let's shoot for Wednesday. How's Wednesday sound? Wednesday, okay. Wednesday, 108 Eastern, uh, 1208 central time and uh, we'll have experiments we'll keep the weather workshop fun going as always if you've got any ideas or things that you want to see for some of these weather experiments uh, we will be happy to oblige we're always looking for new ideas i'll see you then. thanks